Yeah, uh, doctor, this is Tina Brubaker. What are the results? Positive. Oh, that's just fine. No. No, I'm sorry. No, um, I'll take care of it myself. Something's upsetting you, it's gonna worry me. It is. Yes. What's the matter? Well, Jean, what are you doing here? I mean, I might ask you the same question. I mean, I wasn't aware that you knew Vanessa Fazan. Because when I talked to you before about Domi, you never let on that you know her. You still haven't answered my question. Why are you here? Ben, listen to me, man. Now, I'm trying to tell you that there is a connection between Domi and the Bedford deaths. Now, I don't have any evidence right now, but I... I know that there is, and I need your help. My help? Why should I help you? Because if my suspicions are true, those so-called suicides were nothing but murder. Oh, you're out of your ben, mind. Ben, listen no, to me, man. No, I don't want to hear anymore. You just leave. Man, I'm telling you, I could use your help. I need your help. Well, I can't help you. I think you better leave right now before Vanessa comes back. I really don't think you want to explain this to her, Gene. Okay, look. I'll leave, but you got to promise me one thing. Don't say a thing to Vanessa Fazan about this, because if you do, you're going to shoot down two months of investigation. Please. If you go right now, there'll be no need to explain anything. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> From what I know about Dave Phillips, he seems like a reputable man. Just give him a little time. Where I'm concerned, I don't think any amount of time is going to change his mind. That's what I thought, too, Lee. Hey, you see? Look, Dave will come around. Well, that remains to be seen. Remember, I married Dave Phillips' ex-wife when he was still in love with her and trying to get back together. That is hardly a basis for a working relationship. Yes, but now, Dave is planning to marry Terry Davidson in just a couple of months. I'd like to be optimistic, Preston. This waterfront project means a lot to me. Personally, that is, I really care about those people in Chesterfield, despite what some people might think. And yet, I, I doubt that Dave will be a part of it if he knows I'm involved. But you still don't know that for sure. I'm a pragmatist. You both saw how he reacted when he found out that I was part of the committee. And he refused to talk privately with me so that we could settle our differences. I don't believe that Dave Phillips is the kind of man that'll let his personal feelings stand in the way of the public good, correct? That's the Dave Phillips I know. Lee, if Dave could put aside his personal feelings about me after what I went through with both of his daughters, I'm sure you two could work something out, if you're willing to meet him halfway. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? No, no, don't forget, he was very shocked when he walked into that room. He had no idea that you'd be on the committee. I suppose you're right. You said you had something you wanted to discuss. Ah, uh, yes, it's right here. It has to do with that uh, unoccupied plot of land down by the, 
the river, the shore. Uh huh. Uh, it's the removal of all the shrubs and things. Here, as you can see right here, I can get to work on that right away if I've got your approval. Oh, well, you got it. You get started on it. Good. I'll get my foreman out there right away. Well, that'll be fine. Good. Is there uh, anything else? No. No? Okay. If you uh, need me, you can reach me at my office. Fine. Congressman? Preston? Yeah. Oh, hello. Is uh, Courtney Sumner here? Well, I really can't answer that question, but uh, I'm sure her father can. Hello? Hello. It's Courtney here. What are you doing in my house? Well, I think I just told you, Preston, I want to see Courtney. Well, she isn't here. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Oh, well, I got a message that she wanted to meet me here. Why would Courtney tell you to meet her here? She knows what I think of you. Ah, well, maybe my secretary's fill-in made a mistake. Uh -huh. Look, will you just uh, please tell Courtney that I'll be at home if she wants to talk now, to me? Well, while you're here, there are a couple of questions I'd like to ask. Lee, would you excuse us for just a moment? Oh, my den is right across the hall. There's some more information about the project on the desk. Preston, I really don't feel like answering any of your questions. I think that the last time we talked, more than enough was said. Look, I want to know where the annulment stands. Why don't you ask Courtney? I'm asking you. I think things are going very nicely. Now, what does that mean? It means I'm optimistic about the case, Preston. Every time I ask Courtney, she says the same thing. Now, why is it I don't believe that? That's your problem, not mine. You still think you're going to win? Well, I'll put it to you this way. I think we have a lot better chance of winning the annulment than that clown in the other room has of getting reelected. He sure could use some pointers on strategy. <laughs> really? I... I just came out to get my folder. I'm glad I did, otherwise I would have missed this. Look, Lee, I'm sorry you heard oh, no, that. No, 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 no. Really, it's all right. Perhaps you'd like to say to me what you think of me. To my face. Well, Tina, what is it? What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing, really. Tina, Nothing. It, there's obviously something bothering you. Now, if, if you'd like, I'm willing to help. You are? Yes, of course. Now, come on, what is it? Look, it's nothing you can pinpoint. It's school, I guess. Oh, all right. Well, what about school? It just makes me so depressed. I'm having to take classes again this summer. You know, this is my second summer. Well, how are you doing? The truth? Yeah. Not too well. I'll be lucky if I pull a D in accounting and maybe a C in French. I feel so stupid. Oh, no, come on. Don't, don't say that. Because you, you, you're not stupid. No? I guess the problem is that I... I just don't take certain things seriously enough. No? I can spend hours on a game like Deadly Pursuit, but when it comes to studying or really protecting myself, I don't use my head. Oh, come on now. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about, protecting yourself? Oh, just using common sense. Well, you're helping me protect my marriage. I think that says a lot of good things about you. And come on, besides, no one this pretty should be that depressed. Vaughn, do you really think I'm pretty? Yes. And I'm sure I'm not the only man that does. Oh, come on, no more of that. Do you hear me? Yeah. You have beautiful eyes, Vaughn. That's funny. I was just about to say the same thing about you. <laughs> you were? <laughs> yeah. In fact, they remind me of Courtney's. Like a child's. Wide and beautiful. Hello, Vanessa. Ben? What's going on? Oh, nothing's going on, Dr. Fazan. We were just waiting for you, is all. <clears throat> is that right? Well, have you two met? Uh, yes. We were just talking. Yeah, about I was uh, just telling Ben about how great our Domi sessions have been. <laughs> oh, then you know that Jean Foster is one of my private clients. Uh, yes. Actually, I don't usually have private sessions, but he showed such enormous potential that I felt one-on-one -on -one instruction was warranted. 
Ben, you're a little bit early, aren't you? Uh, I guess I am. I, I have to admit, I didn't remember when we scheduled lunch. I thought it was for one o'clock. No, no, it was two. Late lunch, remember? Uh, yes, I do remember now. Actually, I've had a most horrendous day. I just came from an introductory seminar, and I have my session with Mr. Foster, and... Well, perhaps we should schedule it for another time. Is that what you really want? No, but I do have a busy afternoon ahead of me. Well, why don't you let me see what I can do? Uh, Vanessa, could I have a word with you in private, please? Well, yes, of course. Mr. Foster, would you excuse us, please? Uh, sure. Sure thing, Dr. Fazan. I'll just be right outside. Well, Ben, what is it you wanted to talk to me about? <laughs> What's on your mind? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to talk about our lunch. And I didn't want to talk in front of um, Mr. Foster. Ben, I detect something's bothering you. Bothering me? Maybe it has to do with Lori being away. Oh, is that all? About lunch, I think we should reschedule it. I have a busy afternoon, and by the time you finish up with your client, it'll be at least an hour. Well, actually, I don't think my session with Mr. Foster is going to take all that long. But perhaps you're right. Maybe we should make it for another time, but soon. Yes, soon. Will you call me? You can count on it. Good. You know, Brian warned me about you. <laughs> Did he? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. No? Oddly enough, Brian is capable of jealousy. Not that he and I have any sort of a relationship. But we're not going to let Brian stand in the way of our friendship, are we? As a matter of fact, I think our little conversation the other night was quite beneficial. It was to me, I know. Me too. It was very beneficial. And I think you'd also agree with me that Brian is worrying over nothing. That's what I told him. I also told him that um, we married men <laughs> are a little more secure in our relations with the opposite sex. Oh, bravo. I wish I could have seen his expression. You know, he's a dear, but he's so smug sometimes. Yes, he is. <sighs> well, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time. Mr. Foster, please, come in, sit down. Is everything all right, Dr. Fazan? Oh, everything's just fine. Why wouldn't it be? This is Dan Myers, Congressman Lee Kravitz. How do you do? Mr. Myers, go on. I'd like to hear more. What politician doesn't appreciate a few pointers on his campaign? Please forgive me, Congressman. I... <laughs> Should never have expressed myself that way. All I really meant to say is that you're not doing very well in the polls right now. I'm well aware of that. Well, if I may, uh, even though it's early in the campaign, I, it just seems to me that the problem is that you're not offering your constituents anything new. The congressman is very much involved in a project in Chesterfield that will bring a lot of jobs into the area and should get him quite a few percentage points in the poll. Uh-huh, and it will show that you have concern for the little guy, and that's, that's a good angle to play, but you if that's all you... You full of ideas for campaign strategy. I think you've said enough, Mr. Myers. You did say you had to go, did you not? Oh, but I'd like to hear some more of his thoughts. Well, perhaps another time, Congressman. I really do have an appointment in a very short while. Press, you will give Courtney my message, won't you? Yes, just like before, Danny. I'll call her myself. Congressman, good to see you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Exactly who is he? A lawyer. Here in Kingsley? Yes. I'm surprised I don't know him. Consider yourself fortunate. <laughs> well, just why don't you like him? Because he is a slick, well-groomed, pernicious scoundrel who will stop at nothing to achieve his goal. Is that right? Yes. Right now, he's manipulating my daughter's annulment, much to my sorrow. 
But your daughter must have confidence in him. Yes, she has confidence. Confident that he'll do whatever it takes for her to win, no matter how unsavory he has to be. But he has been very successful. Yes, yes, but then so was Genghis Khan. <laughs> Does he have any PR experience? No. Well, not that I know of. I met him through my brother. He may have done some things for him. The young man has a reputation of becoming involved with his female clients. I asked Courtney to stay away from him, but would she listen? Oh, no, no. I have warned Dan Myers to keep his relationship with my daughter on a purely professional lawyer-client level. And has he? I don't know. I only hope she's got enough common sense not to get involved with him. Well, have you talked to Courtney recently? Yeah, uh, as a matter of fact, I was at her apartment earlier this morning. You were? Yeah. Um, I figured it would be a good idea if we became friends. I mean, you know, she could confide in me, it could help us. So I waved the white flag and she agreed to a truce. Did she say anything about me? You? No. Huh. Well, what about the annulment? I still think everything's a go. She's still going to go through with this? Guess so. Oh, but why? Isn't she afraid of getting hurt? What, does she hate me that much? She doesn't hate you, Vaughn. But I don't think she loves you either. She just, she just wants to end the marriage. Then what? Well, I think she has some options in mind. Options? Yeah. Like what? Look, it'll only hurt you to go into it, and I don't want to do that. You've been through enough already. Come on, Tina. It's important that I understand what's going on with Courtney. Courtney is very excited about a proposition that Dan Myers made to her. Dan Myers? Yeah. What sort of proposition did he make? He wants her to move in with him. What? That's what she said. She said that he wants her to live with him. Live with him? Look, Vaughn, please. Oh, come on. Well, what did she say? What is she going to do? Vaughn, calm down. Please, Tina, I need to know what is she going to do Look, about it? I don't know. Well, what did she say? She wasn't sure. But she's actually considering it. Maybe Myers is just using this as some kind of test. A test? What do you mean? Uh, well, maybe he's just trying to see if she's really serious about continuing with the annulment. Look, Vaughn. You and I both know that Mr. Carpenter would never allow Courtney to move in with Dan Myers. He'd cut her allowance right out from under her if he thought she'd pull such a stunt. Maybe even disinherit her. Tina, you once told me that you believe Courtney was uh, doing this as some sort of a game, just testing her freedom. Do you still believe that? No, not anymore. <laughs> no. I think that she is in this game for keeps. I think that she really wants to be free of you. Look, I'm sorry, Vaughn. I'm sorry. Look, you just gotta look at this thing objectively, though, you know? I mean, I know it hurts, I know it does, but you've got to let go of Courtney. And look around you. There will be other women. But I love her. There will be others, Vaughn. Just look. Who's there? Bill. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to play tennis with him this afternoon. I'll just tell him to forget it. No, no, that's all right. I, I was just about to leave anyway. Hey, Tina, you can open the door or what? Yeah, sure. Hi. 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 Yeah, I was just about to leave anyway. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You gonna be okay? So, uh, what's going on? Too complicated, believe me. So, are we still on for tennis? The last time you just watched so that you could develop a strategy. This time I'm out for blood, kiddo. You bet. My ankle's all better. Just let me get my stuff. Okay. Could use a good rally right now to keep my mind off things. Just bring it with you. We'll change at the club. Boy, that 
Dr. Ben's a really nice guy. <laughs> oh, you mean Dr. Martin? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Men like Ben Martin are few and far between. Those few who exceed professionalism, whose magnetism goes beyond their good looks. Well, well, I gather he's probably not married the way you talk about him, you know? <laughs> that really doesn't concern me. Oh, it doesn't? No, it doesn't, Mr. Redland. Mm -hmm.